My name is Mars. I wasn't always the most advanced, prosperous planet in the solar system. I was born four billion years ago, sired of the sun. Much as my sister, I began as a ball of molten lava, then cooled into a planet of rock and blue seas. While she grew green with life, I lost my seas and became a lonely, red desert. I admit, I always wanted what my sister had. I watched her oceans teem with strange creatures who evolved to crawl upon her continents. A new creature emerged. At first, it was the same as the others, but over time, it developed something very different. Consciousness. And with consciousness came reason. And with reason, innovation. Innovation brought water to my sister's deserts, harvested her forest to craft boats to sail and trade upon her seas, smelted her ore into iron and steel to build cities, and refined the oily remains of past creatures into fuels for machines that took them across her continents and even into her skies. Then one day, I heard them speak. Using vast metal dishes, they propelled their words and their music across silent space. To me, I learned they call themselves man and my sister, Earth. And they even knew me and gave me a name, Mars. They're astronomers, philosophers, inventors, engineers, even novelists had been dreaming of me. Galileo, Aristotle, Tesla, Heinlein, Musk. Elon Musk had a vision to bring man to me. He and other innovators, like Peter Diamandis, had grown frustrated with government's lack of progress in space exploration and conquest. They launched rockets and satellites. They sent robots to transform my barren landscape into cities, mines, factories, and ecosystems. They left an Earth endangered, not by unsolvable environmental problems, but by a deadly spiritual virus of victimhood, envy, greed, and resentment. Socialist politicians set themselves up as the arbiters of progress and fairness, pandering to the masses, blaming innovators for pillaging resources and enslaving the poor instead of thanking them for setting the masses free to set a course for me and mankind's future. Fortunately, men like Elon Musk don't look to be thanked, nor wait for permission. The innovators, the men of the mind who pioneered electronics, software, communication, research, and finance. For them, the question wasn't who would let them, but who could stop them. I once looked at my sister Earth, wishing I could be more like her. Now, she probably wishes she could be more like me. She can be. You can be. Be open. Explore. Look forward. And up. Believe in a future better than its past. Join us. And together, we will populate the stars. <laughs>